again. It's still December, but this time I've got the pink bag from Ipsy. So as I said in my, excuse me, birch box video, um, I didn't have this. I actually got it yesterday, Saturday, I don't know. It's been snowing, so I'm all, I'm all off. But anyway, let's see what's inside. I haven't looked. I don't even know if Ipsy does previews. I'm so like, let me sign up for that and then whatever. <laughs> Okay, scissors. We've got. Ooh, 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 I like this black bag. This is really cute. Much nicer than last month's gold one. Ooh. And actually, it comes in really handy because I was just thinking today that I need a bag to keep all my crap in my purse that's like cosmetic or whatever because it's just floating around in there and it gets so full and if I have to limit it to a small space that's gonna help me quite a bit so that's what that's gonna get used for um, there's something in here that says celebration snap a pic of your glam bag and share oh okay so this is just a win a one-year subscription Ooh, well maybe we'll give that a try so let's see what's in this little bag cute Ooh. <gasps> cool okay so the first thing I'm picking up is Ardell eyelashes which is so perfect for the holiday season because I am planning on wearing fake lashes and that's actually a good reminder I have a thing tomorrow that I need to wear lashes for um, but cool they're little demi lashes very neat so I've just started to get into um, wearing fake lashes this comes with glue oh it's a little <laughs> A little paper packet. I always use the duo glue um, because I follow Lisa Eldridge and she always she swears by the duo glue because it's hypoallergenic as a contact wearer that's important to me um, plus it goes on white and dries clear which is very helpful because as a beginner lash user I don't really know what I'm doing but the white glue that dries clear helps because it's repositionable and visible so okay we've got lashes cool um, what else there's more pop beauty in here Ipsy seems to be very pop beauty oriented. So this looks like an eyeshadow trio, yeah? Bright up your life, naturally bare. My understanding is that Ipsy, to a greater extent than Birchbox, really tries to personalize what's in the bag, which I appreciate because I feel like, I mean, I get a lot of good Birchbox stuff, but I feel like it's not always particularly personalized which I kind of thought it was supposed to be so that's sometimes disappointing when I'm like there's no way I would wear this um, but this has three neutral shades they're not named I don't think but th that's definitely super cute that's actually gonna go in the makeup bag in case I forget to do my eyeshadow because it's a perfect little everyday neutral emergency Kit, so that's fantastic. We have got a lip pencil by is it J Cat? I mean, it is a cat. The T is a cat here. See, cat. But it's a lip pencil. It's got a super red pinky end here, but it looks like it's a darker, sort of a darker shade. Let's swatch it. Huh. It's kind of like a brick. No, you can't even see me. It's like a brick red. I've got a pretty neutral skin tone, so a lot of times you can really tell your skin tone depending on what kind of red you can wear, if you look better in an orangey red or a blue red. But I think that looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, so that is neat. It's not a stain or anything, so I don't think it's going to have very much staying power unless I take the time to really do thin layers and blot it, but it's a good color for a quick swipe. We've got, looks like a tiny, oh! Starily Bzz Bzz. It's a nail polish that's, oh, it's a clear polish that has black and gold glitter in it, so look at that it's totally focusing on me and not the polish I apologize for that well that's cool little bumblebee color scheme there 
And it looks like one last thing, which is not for resale. Got that? It's not for resale. I don't even know what it is. Be a bombshell, the one stick in sunset. Um, the one stick. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I like this shade. I don't know, but I'm guessing from the one stick as a name that it's a one stick for blush lips, anywhere you need color, and it's in this gorgeous petally pink. It doesn't look petal pink here, but I swear to God, it's really, I could wear, I mean, that's a fantastic pink for me. I could wear that lips cheeks. I could wear that as an eyeshadow in an emergency, although I tend not to wear red eyeshadow because I don't like to look like I have an eye infection. Because that happened one time, and it was horrible. Um, I was allergic to my contact lenses, and I got, it looked like I was a, like an abuse victim, which I wasn't, and I felt bad because people kept looking at me funny, and I was like, no, no, I'm just allergic to my contacts. But this is nice, and this is a full-size product, so there's a good amount of color in there. That is really, really nice. And that is it. I feel like there's slightly less in here than there was last time, but I also feel like it's better than it was last time. I'm a much, I, I'm really happy about all of it. I mean, I don't, I don't know where I'd ever wear black and gold nail polish, but it's still cool. Everything else I am going to use. So that is a fantastic win for Ipsy. I'm really happy. Um, in the showdown this month, Ipsy definitely wins, so I, I'm sorry I didn't get to do the two unboxing videos together, but Ipsy is definitely the December winner uh, for the for the box box that I like better. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what January brings, and until then, have a very happy holiday, whatever it is that you celebrate, and we will see you next time.